Hey guys, it's Pope and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week we are going to be talking about an exercise that is really beneficial for the clean and jerk. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I much prefer the snatch over the clean and jerk. The clean is the weakest movement for me when it comes to weightlifting. I say weak in quotations, I guess, because my all time best clean and jerk is 110 kilos, which is 242 pounds. But when you compare that to my snatch, which I've snatched 202 pounds, it is a little bit weak when it comes to ratio. So I have to put extra emphasis on constantly working on bettering my clean so it can try to keep up with my snatch progress. The exercise I'm going to be breaking down for you guys is called a pause clean. And there are tons of different variations of pause cleans that can be done. But the one that I'm going to focus on is pausing at the knee. And I have found that this variation has been the most beneficial for me in carryover to the full clean. The way that it helps is in two different ways, fixing two different problems. One of which being if you're struggling with staying over the bar, keeping your shoulders over the bar throughout the pull. And the other one being using your legs past the knee, which is something that I really struggle on. I'm very strong off the floor, but as soon as the bar passes my knee, I want to put my hips and my back into play a little bit too soon. You wanna stay in those quads as long as possible to use your maximum leg strength on that pull of the clean. And this drill really helps you dial that in. This is actually my least favorite exercise out of all of the weightlifting movements, all of the accessory drills, everything. This is the thing that I hate the most. So that kind of goes hand in hand in weightlifting. The thing you're weakest at is usually the thing that you dislike doing the most. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys are not going to like doing these as well, but that just means it's something that you should be doing if it's something super hard for you. To perform the pause clean, what you're going to do is set up just like your regular clean pull, like you're going to do a full clean. And instead of carrying the momentum throughout the entire pull, you're going to stop at the knee. It's a pretty simple uh, explanation based on the title of the exercise. But what's important is how you get the movement started again after the pause. So what we're gonna really focus on is after you pause at the knee, you continue that leg drive to start the momentum again, which is what makes this exercise so hard. From that dead stop to then kicking your legs and pushing through the floor again is super tough, but it's gonna teach you to really drive through the legs throughout the entire pole. So what you don't wanna do is pause and then dip down lower than the knee again to get some momentum going. And you also don't want to just rear back. So if you find yourself already pulling back when you're in your pause position at the knee, make sure to take a second and readjust and get those shoulders over the bar because that's what you're working on with this drill. So at the pause, make sure your shoulders are still over the bar. And when you start moving again, keep the shoulders over the bar. Everything is still rising together until you reach closer to your hip when you scoop into that power position. The other thing you want to really work on these is that pull under. You're not going to have the full momentum like you would with a full clean off the floor. So you're going to have to work extra hard to pull your body under the barbell with that limited speed you're working with. I am having my athletes work on these right now as well in their programming. And uh, one thing I've noticed that is their tendency to do on these is to change their first pull a little bit since it just is a different movement, but you want that first pull to look exactly how it's gonna look on your full clean. So make sure your butt is not shooting up right off the floor. We're still using our legs to push to the knee. So make sure that first pull still looks exactly the way we want it to on the full clean, using the legs, not letting the hips rise first. There are a few different ways you can do these with tempo. How I started out working on these with Amy, we were actually doing a five second pause which is going to really make your back scream. So if you're going to work on a long pause and work on that strength over the bar, make sure you're using lower percentages on those. I only used like 75 to 80 kilos when I was doing the five second pause, and you can use that in relation to my 110 kilo PR. That's pretty light for me, but it's really tough to hold that for a long time. Today in my workout, I'm going to be working on just like a strong, solid one second pause to really stop the momentum and then get it going again. How I'm incorporating these into my programming this week is I'm going to be doing doubles. I'm only doing the pause on the first rep. I'm going to try to work up like three challenging sets with the pause and then I'm gonna ditch the drill and do some singles with the full clean and jerk. 
Before I get started with my lifting, I did want to give you guys an announcement. My Strength From Struggle line is back in stock with the latest colorways. So this gray one, the red full t-shirt, and the teal crop I have in limited sizes as of when I'm filming this video, but I got a good amount this time that teal crop sold out so fast last time. So I should have some more for you guys still. So hit up my store, barbellsandbows.store to get those. Just finished up my training session for the day. The pause cleans were equally as hard as I anticipated they were gonna be. It might not look like it to those of you watching, but I was still making some of those technical errors that I talked about in the beginning of the video. My shoulders were still getting behind the bar after the pause, which is what I'm really trying to work on, staying in my legs past the knee. So if you went back and looked at them, I was getting behind the bar some, but they weren't too off. And then the full clean was looking pretty good. So all in all, some good, some bad, and still just always trying to learn and get better. I hope you guys enjoyed 
watching this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video from Daytona. Bye.